Welcome to Random Thoughts. Ray Sean Blyden here. Leave a like, share, and subscribe. Sorry about the bad quality. This is the laptop's camera, and it would not allow me for some reason to hook up my external camera. It's causing conflicts. HPs are funny like that, but nonetheless, when you're on the road, there's nothing you can do. Today I'm going to talk about homesickness. How long does it take you to become homesick when you're away from home? That is the question today. Well, I would say it depends on the type of trip that you went on. For instance, if you went away on a trip with friends, family, and you're having a grand old time, then the homesickness will be to a minimum. Let's say you're gone for, I don't know, one week or two weeks even. Two weeks, it would be fine because you're out there with your friends or your family or both and you're having a great time. But what if you went away on a business trip or you had to go on a work-related trip where you had to go for two-week training and you went out there and not with friends or family and you're all by yourself there for two weeks how would you feel then that is the that's the situation that i am in that's how i feel because i'm out here and one week flew by i'm on the one week mark and i still have a week to go and it's like something triggered it a friend that I just met over here, we uh, went to see Elvis. And the, the movie was awesome. I'm not going to give away spoilers, but it triggered some things in me. And it was sad towards the end. And then depression kicked in. And then I did the unthinkable and drank two tall glasses of IPA and a shot. If you saw the short video you can see that I'm clearly intoxicated the shorts on YouTube that is but um, that was the one time I'm not gonna do it again it's not like I was on uh, an alcoholic I stopped on my own because I wanted to and I'll stop again but it was just overwhelming I guess I don't know and uh, it's uh, tough being on the road like that in training but you do meet some people out here in the class of six and Matt and Joe we've been hanging out but I have I've met them virtually but meeting people virtually and and in person is different like I couldn't associate the faces with you know in person until we were trying to introduce ourselves and then Matt talked about his cat, and then it clicked in my head. This is a guy who always have the cat on camera, but uh, it's pretty cool. Um, so that helps that you. I've made some friends out here, and we went downtown to Chinatown, and we're gonna go see the Michael Jordan statue. We went to see a beach and stuff like that, and we'll do some more things before it's time to leave here. But nonetheless, I am counting down the days. No one likes living out of a hotel. At least I don't like living out of a hotel. It could have been a five-star hotel, and I still would feel the same way. That who wants to live out of a hotel? You know, missing chip is, is what's really doing it for me here. The sugar gliders, not, not so much, but chip, yes. So I'm very much looking forward to going back and seeing Chip. He's being well taken care of. I can see that. So that's great. But that's pretty much, you know, traveling in general. This is horrible. Like, I didn't know that my two kids would be overweight by 10 pounds and then they wanted to charge me an extra hundred on top of the 
30 I already paid is ridiculous. It's it's insane. It really is insane. But I must say in the subway, there was some very interesting entrepreneurs hopping trains, selling stuff, waving in the in the air like they just don't care. It was a trip. There was a bum following us from train to train. I said to Matt and Joe, how is this guy following us? He's a bum. Where is he? He's like dirty, smelly. It was horrible. He's following us. But uh, it was still a great time. Chinatown was good. So we'll definitely have to go out again and do some stuff like that. But yeah, it's starting to kick in. It's starting to kick in. And the camera situation wouldn't be so bad if I could have better lighting, but this is all the light that's provided to me, so this is all I can do. Imagine if I tried to shoot at night, it wouldn't be able to work. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much all I got to say here. Leave a like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I don't know if I'll do another one or not. We'll see. We'll see.